What's going on guys, Crafty Rick here, and this is the Mad Max Vehicle Challenge. I joined this challenge last minute, and this is what I made. It's a little isopod vehicle. This was a friendly challenge issued by Andy Mecca, Emerson Ward, and Johnny Simpleton. I'll leave a link to their respective channels in the description. Alright, so let's get building. We'll begin with some concept art. I wanted my vehicle to resemble a rubber ducky isopod, so I used a die-cast Volkswagen Beetle. I found this one in the trash. I begin by removing the front wheels, and then using some spare wheels I had from the bits box. For the armor plates of the vehicle, I'm using a foam sheet. Which then I cut and shaped into individual armor plates, they're gonna be stacked on top of each other. Each one of them is set in place with hot glue. This car was missing the roof, so I went ahead and grabbed this part from my bits box. Which then I trimmed in some places to custom fit the vehicle. Now I removed the bumper and tires and saved them for a future project. And now I proceed to hot glue the bigger wheels on top of the existing rims. That wasn't gonna work for the front wheels, so instead I used a metal rod from a previous set of wheels. I drilled some holes and set them in place. Look at that. This part used to be at the front of that roll cage. I'm gonna set it on top and make it look like a hatch of some sort. And now I'm hot gluing the rear armor plates of the Wasteland Isopod. Hot glue turned out to bond really well with the foam sheets. And now some more random bits. I have a collection of bumper guards, I'm gonna find a few for this project. I'll take the headlights from this one. Now on to add some damage to the roll cage and plates. An additional armor plate and then the front windshield louvers. I wanted to keep the flow of the armor plates going. So going with louvers for this build was the best decision for it. I have these things on my car and I love the look of them, and if you're ever wondering, yes, you can see out of them. When installing these, you have to find the right angle for your windshield incline. And now for window protection, I decided to go with styrene sheets. And now I'm using the foam sheets to create some fender extensions. I'm stretching the foam sheets and then hot gluing them in place. That helps them retain their shape. I add some more damage to the plates and then some weld lines to the whole vehicle.
and now I use polyurethane primer for the vehicle. This primer is gonna protect the foam sheets from the spray paint coat that I'm gonna be doing next. And now I use two coffee straws for the exhaust pipes. And now for the rust texture of the vehicle, I use Vallejo Environment Rust and coat the entire thing with it. And now I can begin painting with a mix of brown and orange. Paint the wheels with a matte black. And then dry brush all of the plates with that same black. And now I'm dry brushing metallic paint to highlight some areas of the vehicle. Now I'll paint the white letters on the tires. I love the way these look. Now I use this yellow on both ends of the vehicle. And it's finally starting to look like a rubber ducky isopod. So more metallic dry brushing, and then I hot glue the bumper guards. And that's it everyone, I really hope you like this Isopod Wasteland vehicle. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!